Um, hey guys, um, I'm Everything SpongeBob, and today I'll be making my first video. I'm just gonna try making the lighting a little better. Okay, so I'll be telling you my top 10 favorite SpongeBob episodes of all time to start off my channel, since I told you I'll be telling you everything SpongeBob related. So I'll do be do, I'll be doing reviews of episodes. So just watch if you want to see my opinion for stuff. So let's begin with number 10. Okay, well, number 10 is Gary Takes a Bath. Now, there's a lot of hidden jokes in here, which I shouldn't probably tell you because you guys would probably get in trouble if you're watching with your parents or something. So, no point of telling you. But if your parents are watching, don't worry. They don't do anything too inappropriate in SpongeBob. And when they do, they hide it. So, kids won't probably get it. So, please don't make your kids stop watching SpongeBob. Please. Because you'll be do being a soccer mom. Yeah, I told you all the soccer moms watching. You'll be a soccer mom if you do that. So anyway, Gary Takes a Bath is a great episode. It's a very funny episode. And it, so it was my actually my first ever Spongebob episode. Because I got a DVD set called Sponge Tales, I think. And the first episode they showed was Gary Takes a Bath. So, yep. Let's see what number nine will be. Number nine is Christmas Who. Now, Christmas Who is on almost everyone's list because um, it was a great episode. It had a great musical number, and the characters all behaved really good in that episode, especially Squidward. Patrick, I'm not really sure about. He was behaving decent the whole episode. But Squidward behaved really good, and he was really likable in this episode. That's why Squidward's my second favorite character in the show, right behind Gary. And after Squidward is Patrick, old Patrick. Number four is Plankton. No, number four is Sandy. Number five is Plankton. And all the way to number six is the main character. That's how bad they turned SpongeBob into. But before, he was like in my top three. So, before he was good, but now he went downhill. So, yeah, it was a good episode. So, I recommend checking it out if you haven't already. What episode was I talking about again? Really, though, what episode was I talking about again? Oh, man, I actually forgot that was what I was talking about. How, how sad, because I'm not using scripts, so. You could even hear, like, I'm thinking of words to say. So, anyway, just number eight. Oh, yeah, talk about Christmas Who. Great episode. Number eight, this episode, I think, was purely up jokes, and it was Shanghai. Number eight, this episode had barely any plot. But what it was about was jokes, and they executed it really well. I would prefer watching this episode if you haven't already, because the characters are great, it's funny, and you have three alternate endings. I'm sorry. I preferred um, Squidward and Patrick's ending more than SpongeBob's, but whatever. He's the main character, so they picked his ending. It's probably rigged. I don't think anyone really voted. Well, the people that did vote didn't really do a difference, so yeah. Hopefully they do something like as good as saying hide some time around. So, yeah, just to quickly let you know if you're watching this video, if you're expecting any season 4 through 9, well, you might see a season 4 episode, but four, and you might see one season 9 episode, but not including that, you won't see any others, okay? So, just a quick reminder, so don't get mad if you wanted to see, like, more middle, like, newer episodes, so... Time for number seven. Okay, number seven. No one will believe me, and everyone's going to hate on me for this, and I don't know why this episode's so hated, but it's like everyone hates it. It's best day ever. Don't dislike this video yet. It's just my opinion. Um, everyone has their own opinion. I know there are people that love this episode, people that hate this episode, and people that just like, meh. Um, I think this episode's really good, though. It used to be my favorite episode before I like really paid attention to episodes. So... Yep, best day ever, one of the best episodes ever, so time for number six, and it's going to be another modern episode. Number six is another very underrated episode, but this is even more underrated, and it's Licensed to Milkshake. If um no, no one ever says a word about this episode, I'm not exactly sure, it's, and I think season nine's improving, like they made episodes like Squirrel Record and... Sewers of Bikini Bottom, but they won't be on this list, but still, just to let you know. Um, or an honorable mention, but they're close to being an honorable mention. 
your top 10 best new episodes. But anyway, like I was saying, good episode, definitely watchable. So, who will get number 5? I don't know. Okay, I know I'm going to get hate for putting this all the way at number 5 and not 1, 2, or 3. But number 5 is Chocolate with Nuts. Almost everyone that I watch says this is number one. I'm so surprised because I love this episode. That's why it's number five. But there's so many episodes that I would expect you guys to pick. That will be at, you'll see it on this list later. But I'm just so surprised that's all the way number five. I mean, all the way number one for almost every list I watch, not including. Oh wait, oh wait, the next one, number four is Pizza Delivery. Just quick thing about Chocolate Nuts though. It was really funny, really good gags, and the ending was funny too. So back to pizza delivery. This episode was three things that they had really well. No, more than that, I'm just joking. But the three main things was the joke SpongeBob was doing, no, the dance move SpongeBob was doing, the song Krusty Krab Pizza song, and Squitter Trollicness at the end. So that gave it the episode, plus all the clever jokes in the middle, how Mr. Krabs did so well at making that peach out of a Krabby Patty and more jokes. But you guys have to see the episodes for yourself. I don't want to spoil too much. So, by the way, this is my first video, so you might get surprised at the end. Okay, number four. I mean three. Okay, you. Got, I know everyone loves this episode, or almost everyone loves this episode. And you guys probably didn't expect it in this list. But one person I watched actually put this as number one. I did. That's too high. Let me watch this episode because I only saw it like twice. And that was Welcome to the Chum Bucket. I, I loved that episode. It's my third favorite episode, as you guys could hear. And let me get a haircut. I could actually see myself. So it's my third favorite episode. It's really funny how SpongeBob is playing with Plankton. How it's, it shows Don't Bet or You Might Lose Something Really Great. That song was also really good. And... Plankton was getting really stubborn, and the way Spongebob was just taking advantage of that. we never really seen Spongebob do that. Even to now, we don't really see him do that kind of um, maturity. So, anyway, next to number six. I, well, what am I saying? Number six. Number two. Who will it be? Okay, you guys are probably wondering. This would be number one, or why isn't it on the list then? Well, it's number two, so be glad with what you got. Okay, so number two is Band Geeks. This is the episode I think that I would expect everyone to have as number one. A few people have, but not everyone. Like Mr. Mysterious Center said it was the best ever, and what's that guy's name? Cool Cat something said it was number one. But it's definitely a great episode. But I think what makes this episode a tenth overrated, or maybe something else underrated, but don't dislike this video because that is number two. Is that many people aren't paying attention to the episode itself. They're only paying attention to that song at the end. Most people. But if you're only paying attention to the song at the end where all the odds are stacked against them. You should have the Spongebob movie like number one. Because it was just like that. Same story basically. All the odds were against him. And he pulled it off with the, one of the best songs of the whole show. Spongebob wasn't even singing. They just added new words from the same singer. So you shouldn't act like, wait, it's the best episode just because of that one song. Because they had pretty good jokes, too, and pretty clever gags. So I'm going to quickly tell you a few honorable mentions before number one. There's like a hundred or something since there are a ton of amazing Spongebob episodes. But I'm just going to tell you a few right now. Okay, I'm going to try saying this fast. Okay, think, pause the video if you want. Bubble Sam, Plankton, Fun, I Had an Accident, um, a Pal for Gary, no, just kidding. Okay, just try to say a few. Give me a second to think now. He had a tree, don't help wanted, it's a Spongebob Christmas. Mm, there's a lot more, but I just can't think of it. Um, Toy Stewart, you know, that episode was bad. That's pretty much it. There's a lot more, though, but I just can't think. I'll try thinking of one extra one. Just to top it off. But I'm blanking out. I shouldn't be blanking out. I'm, I do everything Spongebob. How am I stupid enough to blank out? I can't think. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 
My number one is... Fry Cook Games. No. Fry Cook Games is a great episode, but number one really is Frankadoodle. Now I'm not joking. Frankadoodle is my favorite episode. It's very creative, a great episode. Patrick, this is Patrick's best episode. This is this episode is even better for him than something smells. And that's an extra honorable mention. Um, same for Fry Cook Games. But it's a great episode, definitely watchable, definitely one of my favorite episodes of all time. My favorite, actually. And this is my first video, so thank you guys for watching. You guys could comment what I should do next for SpongeBob. Because I'm about to do it. Okay. Bye, guys.